as we mentioned, it's a dual centennial celebration this year, as we also mark 100 years since we added the I to ICMA. ICMA has launched a strategy to realize its vision on a global scale, and Isabel Bully omicton is here now in studio with more. Pleasure to have you today. Thank you. Let's get started with just how important global engagement is to ICMA. It's very important to ICMA. The ICMA Executive Board approved the Global Engagement Strategy in June of 2022, and it aligns with the 2017 Envision ICMA Strategic Plan that called to make the I in ICMA more relevant to the association. So what are some of the, uh, some of the milestones that the association has reached? Well, there are three big initiatives uh, as part of the Global Engagement Strategy. The first is the review of the governance structure, and there was a task force that was appointed uh, last year and they've been doing a lot of work to to uh, take a look at our uh, governance structure and ensure that it aligns with ICMA's organizational goals of being a diverse, inclusive, and global organization. But we also have a global operating model. And that global operating model allows ICMA to grow and to expand into the way that we conduct and deliver our programs and services um, that are going to enable our members to continue to receive the kinds of services and products that they're used to receiving, but also provide a global perspective on those programs and services. We also have um, a new relationship model that was approved by the board, and that relationship model allows us once again to grow our network around the world. ICMA has been working with like-minded organizations uh, for the last 35 years. I, I would say that at this conference, um, we have over 20 countries represented, and we have almost 200 representatives from local governments and local government associations and I really encourage our members to reach out to them and, and share and, and learn from them. So for those local government practitioners from all around the world, what does the ICMA offer them to help them tackle those global challenges? ICMA offers our members um, the ability to have a global perspective on all of these challenges that, uh, that they are facing in their local governments. Um, at this conference, in fact, uh, we can see the manifestation of our global engagement strategy because we have over 23 uh, sessions uh, where we have global perspectives on issues such as ethics, uh, local government training, parks and recreation, um, how you deal with all of the service delivery and all of the issues that uh, our members are interested in. So really encourage our members uh, to, to really sort of see how our global engagement strategy is um, having an impact right now. Well, we've come a long way over the last 100 years. I mean, when you think about how small the world is now with how connected we all are now, where do you see global engagement over the next 100 years? Well, I really hope to see that ICMA is a globally recognized uh, association of local government leaders and their, and their staff. Uh, but importantly, I want those leaders and their staff around the world uh, to be able to say that thanks to ICMA, they've gotten the knowledge and the tools that they need to be able to deal with what is going to be an increasingly challenging task of managing local government. Um, and I want them to be able to say that they have a home in ICMA and a network uh, where they can share their experiences and get support um, and continue to learn. So for members that are watching and would like to be a part of the international efforts, how can they get involved? First, I would say that um, please take a look at our website. We have um, um, our landing page for international, uh, where you can sort of check out and see everything that we're doing globally. And then you can also see all of the opportunities for our members to be involved. There are scholarships and fellowships that they can uh, apply for. There are opportunities within our grants and contracts programs. They can volunteer to be on the Global Engagement Committee, which is a very active member committee. And then there will be individuals um, at conference who will have a pin and ribbons that indicate that they have been globally engaged. Please reach out to them and they can help you. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today and for all of your work with the international uh, engagement. Thank you.